Hello again, Kansa. Uh, today is the first of two follow-up videos to the one that I put out the other day on farming uh, Fatalis' evil eyes. Uh, I showed off a method in that video, you should check that out if you haven't already. I showed off a method where you can punish cons by Frostcraft Greatsword to fairly easily farm the evil eyes in around 10 or so minutes. Uh, we'll talk about the comments I got on that in just a second. But basically today I'm going to be showing you how to bait out the cons because a lot of people were really struggling with that. I thought that the footage in the video made it fairly clear, but uh, I suppose not. And then tomorrow's video will be uh, an insect glaive method. You see we get a little bit unlucky right at the start of the video, but uh, we'll worry about that later. But yeah, so the follow-up video will be another method to farm the uh, farm the evil eyes that is quicker and more consistent, but requires a little bit more skill as well. So it's not as easy as just holding triangle. Anyway, that is the method that I bait the cons. You wait for the sideways puddle sweeps at around the distance that I'm standing. And then you roll through them. You try to iframe it uh, halfway through, and that'll get you in basically perfect positioning. To bait out the second con, you stand behind the puddle that he leaves. Uh, it's not consistent at all. It's very unlikely, in fact, but it's a, it's a, it's a fairly reasonable way of doing it. You get it like maybe once every ten times or so. You see that? Uh, I wait for the puddle, and then I roll towards Fatalis. Um, basically iframing it. Stack evasion window if you need to. You don't technically need to iframe, but I found that the iframing gets your positioning basically perfect. I wanted to find a more consistent way to do it, and this is basically, we did a whole bunch of testing, and this is basically the most consistent way that I could find. Um, when he's on the ground, there's nothing you can do. I'll talk about ways to get him off of the ground, first of all. Uh, when he's on the ground, he does not cone. I don't think I made that clear in the video, although I, I assume the footage would, but I know a lot of people weren't, weren't, didn't realize that. Uh, he will not cone while he's down here, while his head is on the ground. So you have a few methods. You can far caster, if you go back to base camp, or I guess if you cart as well. Uh, when you come back, he'll be up in the air. You can do enough damage to him. Eventually he will flinch, and when he flinches, he will be up in the air. Uh, that that will get shown off sort of a little bit later. You can see the cannons in the back, you know that opener where you do where you use those cannons. If you climb up there, he will also get up, like to sort of position so he can aim at you. Um, so, so you can climb up there. And then the other method is just to wait a little bit. After a few minutes, he'll get up himself, like we see just now. So, more baiting. You can see, we wait for the puddle breath at, at around the distance that I'm waiting at, and then we, uh, and then we iframe through it. If you're struggling to iframe, again, just stack evasion window. I tried to be positioned in front of the puddle whenever he uses it. Again, this is a little bit unlikely, but um, it's not fun. And I just want to make clear, this video was uh, not some sort of we spent 10,000 hours resetting for a really great run. Um, this is 10 minutes right at the start of the previous stream. I said to chat, yo chat, let's just see how many cons we can get in 10 minutes. We did it once and I was doing all of the punishes and I thought it would make for a better video if I didn't do the punishes. So this is actually the second attempt, but both attempts were just as frequent. We got just as many cons in both attempts. So I just want to clarify, well actually we'll talk about the comments now. About to go on a mini rant, so uh, <laughs> excuse me. But um, I got an absolutely crazy number of really rude and just annoying comments um, on the video for farming eyes that were basically just, or even every Fatalis video I do is like, Oh, cons, your AI is so easy to fight. How come he does so many cons? I, I never get the cons. You just reset for good RNG and post those videos. No, you can very consistently bait the cons. If you're not getting the cons, it's because you're not positioning the same way I am. I was hoping people would see my gameplay, like my, my positioning. I did say in the in the video, make sure you position like I am to get the cons. It's the equivalent of like people going to the back legs, fighting, you know, poking Tiosha's back legs and then coming to me and saying, Oh, why does Tiosha only use the tail attack? Why only get the tail attack? Like, it's about, it's based on your positioning, you know? If you're not getting the same AI that I am, it's because you're not, um, there's obviously some RNG to it. But uh, yeah, if you're not getting the same moves that I am, it's because you're not positioning as well as I am or in the same way that I am. Um, yeah, I don't know. And if you were one of the people who were like politely just asking about con baiting, I did try to explain it. Or mention that I'm doing a video because I guess it is partially my fault for not explaining it very well and just relying on people you know actually following my my, my gameplay but uh, yeah I don't have any issue with anybody who asked politely it's just like a lot of really rude comments that, that were like uh, oh this is an impossible method it actually takes 25 minutes and he's lying to us like no just stop being bad look you can get bad RNG chat look we're getting bad RNG now fireballs but even if he uses six fireballs in a row nothing it doesn't it's not a big deal it just means the run will be like you know uh, 30 seconds longer it's not that big a deal, and then you can just get back, straight back to cone baiting. Um, yeah, the cone baiting is fairly consistent. In, in both runs, we got around 20 cones in 10 minutes. Obviously, you would get less in an actual run because you would be punishing the cones, and so you might be in position for them less, and you might be punishing other moves too. So you'd be in the perfect position for cones a little bit less frequently. But this is just sort of a proof of concept to show you exactly how I go about baiting cones. It doesn't matter if he's in rage mode. We will enrage him later on. I didn't bother this time because I wanted to keep it simple, but it's the exact same process if he's in our rage mode. So again, we wait for that puddle breath and we iframe through it. You don't necessarily have to iframe it. Uh, as I said, this is just a method that I found the most consistent. Uh, actually, Zebra Quake showed me this. So I'll link his channel and Khalid Senpai uh, told me about it. 
Um, although to be fair, I was already doing this. I was I was already iframing, but I just doing it under superstition. Anyway, uh, we can uh, sort of show off the fact that if you knock, oh, I guess I'll I'll summarize again. If he's down on the ground, I need to repeat this because apparently, uh, <clears throat> you know, people are missing it. If he's down on the count on the ground, he will not con. Also, do not bring your palico. Please do not bring your palico. I shouldn't have waited five minutes to say it, but I forgot. If I see people complaining and they bring, oh, anyway, anyway, um, you can see that there. We flinch him and he gets up in the air. Uh, if you don't want to have to deal with that, I, I personally wouldn't bother. Like, the, the nice thing about when his head is on the ground is you don't have to wait for cones. He has a lot of nice bites that are really convenient to punish, and you can see another cone here. I counted these, by the way. We got 19 over the course of 20 minutes. That was in both runs, roughly. That's an average of two cones per minute. It's really not hard. Um, it's very consistent. It's very easy. This isn't good RNG. You don't get good RNG for 10 minutes in a row. This is just how it is. You just got to position the same way that I'm positioning and, and take the same uh, sort of... Uh, movements that I'm taking and you'll get the cons um, Like if you're complaining to me about and I should I shouldn't take this accusatory tone tone because uh, everybody's been really kind But if you're one of the people who was complaining uh, rudely um, But then your at is you know crutched the entire time stabbing his back toe Of course, you're not gonna get cons. Why why would he con if you're right at his uh, right at below his chest? You know what I mean? Um, so it's, it's all about just positioning the way that I'm positioning. I'm just checking the time here um, Yeah, so uh, I don't have a huge amount to say, to be honest with you. Like, I just want to show as much of this footage as I possibly can. Just to give you as many examples. Make sure the palico isn't here. What else? What else? What else? What else? Yeah, so while he's on the ground, you have, like, four ways to get him up. Either wait, and he'll get up himself. Far caster, and when you come back, he'll be in the air. Attack his head until he flinches, and he'll be up. Uh, alternatively, go, go climb up in the, into the cannon area, and he'll get up to face you. And then you can just jump straight back down. Right, he's back down again, so yeah, I, I could use any one of those methods if I wanted to, but I'm just going to keep attacking his head because uh, I wanted to show off the flinch in the video a couple times. Uh, in terms of how to attack the head, yeah, like, okay, look, the, the head can, the head down can have some pretty bad RNG. He has a lot of moves that are quite irritating. You just gotta, you just gotta, like, if you're not good at punishing these bites, then just use one of the other methods, far cast or, or climb up onto the cannon area or whatever. Um, there are, in my opinion, though, this is one of the better modes for him if he, if his AI plays along. Um, but, uh, yeah, so you get get him up in the air again, and then you just keep baiting cons. Now, obviously, we're not punishing here. You should use your preferred punish. So with Great Sword, you want to go on, like, level 1, level 3 if you're using TCS, or even level 1 TCS if you have enough time. Uh, if you're Frostcraft, then just do a level 3 Unsheathe. If you're playing Insect Glaive, you're going to want a Pogo Stick, you know. Every weapon has their own uh, pr preferable punishes for the con breath itself. This video is just about showing you how to con breath consistently. Basically, the TLDR is if you were bitching about not about how lucky I was to get cones, you just need, also you can get if you if you do get hit there, you got to be a little bit careful because you you can get knocked back depending on your positioning, and uh, and then get cone to death. So you got it's a little bit risky, but it's fairly easy to iframe if you take a decent amount of evasion window and get used to the timing. Um, and you really don't have to iframe it; you can just run outside and then inside. I just found the iframe is a little bit more consistently baiting the cone, but that might just be you know a a Pokemon style hold B and down to capture with a Pokeball type conspiracy. <laughs> it might just be anecdotal. Yeah, I, I'm trying to think. I'm, I hope I'm not missing anything. Just there's there's so many cones in this video, and it's always like this. Chat if if you if you have any doubts, if you ever catch me streaming live, because we did this live at, at twitchtv away If you ever catch me live, just uh, just say cons. Can you like bait some cones and show me that it's possible? I'll fucking do it. It's it's consistent every time. It's like this. Uh, in phase two is a little bit less frequent, but it, it's still the same. It's still the same like pattern and still the same uh, baits and stuff. It just happens a little bit less frequently. That's all. Yep. So he does the side breath and you roll inwards. Does a side breath, roll. Oh, good thing he didn't come there. Just run more evasion window if you're if you're having trouble uh, doing this method, or again run out and then in of the breath rather than iframing through it. He will also cone just because you're standing in that position, by the way. You can see roughly how far away I'm standing from his head. I don't really know how to explain it, but there's so much footage here that it should sort of make sense. Um, yeah, you stand at that sort of mid-range. You don't want to be up in his crutch, uh, otherwise he won't cone. I know I'm repeating myself, but I, apparently I have no choice, because I got just an absolutely crazy amount of really rude and incendiary comments. <laughs> um, complaining about how many cons I got, when if you follow my gameplay and you match me, you will get just as many. Uh, unfortunately, we get a little bit bad uh, RNG with the AI here, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I've just been rambling on for like 10 minutes. I, re I really want to just fast forward the footage, but 
I don't know. I need to show it all, I think. I've been a little bit rude this video, by the way. I'm sorry about that. It's just uh, the comments got to me a tiny bit. If you're one of the people who just asked me, like, in a neutral tone or whatever about how I'm getting so many comments, uh, don't worry. I, I don't take any offense to that. I completely understand, and I tried to answer as many as I could. Um, it's just specifically the type of, like, uh, oh, this isn't actually a 10-minute method. This is a 30-minute method. He just got one really lucky run with lots of cones. That, that kind of comment that, that, that irritated me. Because, uh, I mean, I've, I've done this method like 10 times. In fact, I'll talk about that. Well, I'll show that next video, I guess. So, yeah, I, I hope I've covered everything. Uh, hopefully, this all makes sense. Don't bring your palico. Keep an eye on its head when, it, when it's down. Make sure you bring it up if you really want the cones or punish it while it's down. And then just stand at the positions that I told you to stand at and, uh, and bait the cones accordingly. And then do whatever punishment you prefer. There's not a huge amount to it. Uh, I, I didn't think I'd have to make a video like this, but uh, it seems like I did. Hopefully it was helpful. Sorry if I came off across as a little bit rude, but uh, I'm just a little bit tilted after <laughs> after some of the rude comments I got. That's my butt fault. I shouldn't take that on you. I love you guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.